Who's ready for some R&R? These hot springs are supposed to be legendary. Hmm. Funny that the sign mentions flesh-burning acid. Well, anyway, this sketch is about the strength of acids and bases, which all boils down to dissociation. We'll go over what we mean by strength and dissociation first, then discuss how strength plays into pH and how to predict acid or base strength using dissociation constants. Now that's hot! First of all, let's get one thing straight. Strength is not the same as concentration. Concentration is a measure of how much one thing is dissolved in another. Strength is all about how easily a substance dissociates. Dissociation is the breaking apart of a compound into ions in an aqueous solution. Dissociation of acids and bases, according to the Bronsted-Lowry definition, always involves the transfer of a hydrogen ion, which is really just a proton. The result is an anion and a cation. Acids always dissociate into an anion and a hydrogen cation. Bases always accept a proton from water, resulting in a cation and a hydroxide. Notice that when acids dissociate, water technically picks up the resulting hydrogen to form H3O+, or hydronium, but we'll use the terms hydronium, hydrogen ion, and proton interchangeably. Also, to keep things simple for the rest of the sketch, we're just going to focus on acids. However, the same concepts apply to bases, it's just that they form hydroxide rather than hydronium.